But first tonight, that long-awaited report into Philip Schofield's affair has finally dropped, but it's missing some crucial testimony. The former This Morning star was meant to be interviewed about his unwise but not illegal affair with a much younger colleague. But the report revealed Phil refused to cooperate because of the risk to his mental health. His former lover, known as Person X in the report, also declined to be interviewed. Earlier this year, Phil told The Sun that he wanted to apologise to them, his colleagues and co-host, Holly Willoughby. I let her down. I let everybody down. I let that sh entire show down. I let the viewers down. I let everybody, I let my family down. I let my friends down. I let myself down. I let him down. I let everybody down. And it is something that is crushing me. And, and to that unbelievable, non-toxic, wonderful, talented, kind team. I am bereft. I think you let them down. Of the 48 ITV staff interviewed for the report, only one said they knew about the relationship before Schofield's admission in May. The report concluded junior employees at ITV still fear speaking out will damage their careers in the industry. And ITV made considerable efforts to find out the truth about the relationship, but were unsuccessful until Schofield admitted it. Meanwhile, ITV chairman Andy Coslett said the findings prove there is no toxic culture at this morning. Job done. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't even know what this was about. I did, I, assuming that they paid a KC an awful lot of money to come up with this. A um, couple of things don't make sense. The obvious one of the 48 people that they spoke to, actually I think there were a few more, but of the 48 they specifically asked about this, uh, this affair, um, only one person knew. I find that a bit mysterious because my next door neighbour Barry knew about it about a year ago, <laughs> as did almost everybody Good that I have Barry. worked with. Good old ba <laughs> Barry's got his finger He's right on the pulse, and, and, you know. And, 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 Anything yeah, you need to know. Fine. Yep. You know, I presume there's quite a lot of journalists in that organisation, people yeah. with a news gathering background. Correct. How is it that they all of them failed to spot something yeah, that was apparently such a big deal? No, nobody had any clue on this, but I. I also, I'm trying to work out as well what is bearing in mind they didn't speak to Phil and they didn't speak to X. his yeah person X. Then I, I've really literally no idea. I'm not stupid. I've looked through this report. In I've read the whole thing. I can't work out why they did it because wouldn't you have said well, well, we I haven't got I the central players? That. Here. There's I think literally I can no point that in that question. And in every workplace I've ever worked in, and not just the media industry, the minute that person X is having a, a fling with person Y. Everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> so was this literally just the point was just to say there's no toxic culture this morning. Yeah. Move it was, along it was, now. It was I a think... face-saving operation. If I knew and I don't know anything, I, I'm basically 27, <laughs> going on 90. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet. Toxic culture. <laughs> you know, the thing is, the whole the, this whole report was just a face-saving exercise, exercise, and I think it was quite pointless because I th this company ITV were also the people that put Philip Schofield on screen to out, out his sexuality, to come out, to save face and to, to get ahead of the story of the of um, that was going to be revealed about his relationship with this person at the time. And I thought that was really distasteful because this man has a wife and children. He has a family. Why would ITV get involved and allow him to effectively come out and you know declare his sexuality to people that were not concerned? Nobody in the public was asking, oh, is Philip Schofield gay or not? I don't think we cared, right? So ITV themselves are guilty because they tried to get ahead of the story. So someone somewhere knew. I don't see the point of this report because they knew that's why they let him sit on TV and get ahead of the story that was going to out him in the first place. Yeah. Well, I think the point of the story, well, the point, the point of the investigation is to do precisely what it's done, which is effectively a whitewash. And I don't want to impugn the integrity or the professionalism of the person that carried out the report. No doubt they're highly qualified, but they've stuck to their remit and they have not entirely surprisingly found that there was nothing to see here, folks, and we can all move on. No toxic culture. All this was absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, I, I do <clears throat> find it a bit odd that there wasn't a way of... Um, I don't want to use the word coercing, but putting the core participants, if we can call them that, under considerable pressure to participate. They will have taken a lot of money over the years mm. in their normal salary um, from the company. And surely there would have been a way, I'm sure there were payoff arrangements of some kind, wouldn't there have been a way of saying actually it's mandatory to participate in this because the reputation of the entire company mm -hmm. is actually at stake here. Sure, Let's sure. be frank, this whole investigation has been BS from start to finish. <laughs> He's gone much harder <laughs> than I have. Many years ago, <laughs> in my showbiz days, 
I went to ITV and I went to Philip's team and I said, this is what I've heard. These are people who, these, these are my, the source, not, not my sources, but this is what my sources have told me. Mm. I was threatened with legal action. They threatened to block my access to other celebrities because pe people who used to look after Philip looked after a whole mound of mm. daytime celebrities. Mm. And they threatened to take, to punish the companies I worked for and said, your company will never get any interviews with these people either wow. if I went forward with it. Yeah. So, I didn't, so I did nothing. However, I've done my own investigation. And I've spoken to maybe a dozen people who used to work at ITV, who used to work on This Morning. They all knew about it. Yeah. Shock horror. They all say the place was toxic. They say that Philip was all about business. He'd come in, wouldn't know people's names. Holly was nicer, but not so nice when she was with Philip. The best day to work on This Morning, Fridays, because Eamon and Ruth were like a breath of fresh air and everyone loved them. And Eamon and Ruth knew people's names. And they knew, they knew that little John has gone to camp this weekend. And yeah. they knew someone so and so's birthday. They were apparently a dream to work with, as opposed to the two people you're seeing on screen just there. Th so th this, this investigation is completely and utterly BS. That's Pointless. really interesting. When did you do, when was that? Oh, this was, it was like last year I spoke to these people. Right. Uh, I've, I've, I've got numbers of, obviously our industry is, is rather Very small. small yeah. Yeah, I've got numbers of dozens upon dozens of, of former This Morning workers. I, I presume in this investigation, they've gone and spoke to people who work at This Morning still, rather than speaking to people who were there for the last years, 10, 15 yeah. years. And it's no surprise that if you work there now, you're not going to want to be, Absolutely. you know, basically color. risking your job and speaking out. Yeah. Well, I mean, this industry, most people work freelance. So obviously there is the implication that if you if you, if you you uh, tarnish the rep relationship that you have yeah. with this company, it's actually going to be hard to get a relationship with another company in the future because it's so small. But, I, I think it's important to stress that we don't actually care, well, I don't care about you know, his sexuality or, you know, the nature of the relationship per se. I don't approve of affairs, extramarital affairs, but that's his business. But I think it's the power dynamic because this person clearly got the runner a job that's, at that's ITV. That's, and yeah. that's that's the main issue. Yeah. You using your power within the organization to hire someone and then having that power over them at the, during their time there. And I think that's what ITV really even failed to, to even address. They were, they were more interested in who knew about this relationship. That's not the point. The KC did say they interviewed some former employees as well as, as, as present ones. The other bit of, about it I thought was mysterious that junior staff uh, one of the things that was a junior staff said they would find it difficult to um, you know report mm -hmm. somebody more senior and I'm thinking so what I mean that happens in every industry isn't it if yeah, you're, of you're the work experience person somewhere yeah. and you catch the chairman having a crafty you know, round the back. A what? Then a what? what one of that? those. What was that? Those. Can't be repeated I didn't hear twice you. off comment. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> if that happens then then well, you're not going to report it, are you? Of course. You? That doesn't mean to say somehow that you're, uh, you're, you're, you've you're been curtailed in some yeah. sort of terrible but way. But despite everything we've said, I still don't think it's right for Philip Schofield to never work in TV again. I don't think, of course, he, I don't yeah. think what he did was so heinous. No, yeah, of course. Well, he yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the power dynamic is the thing at play. Yeah. So work yeah. But that's ITV's fault. That's because that, that, that was an thing. oversight on their but part. But it didn't break any rules or exactly. laws. You know, yeah. People might not like it. They might say big age gap and all the awful. rest of it. Yeah. 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 Well, what about so, using his mental health as an excuse not to participate in the inquiry? That kind of, that's a bit of a trigger for me. I don't like that. All right.